So part two of the unwrapping, uh, well the modeling and the unwrapping of the red bull can. Um, what we've got now is, you know, where we left off in the last video is we've created our red bull can. It looks pretty good so far. Seems to be okay. Just have a quick look. I may need to kind of make it a bit taller. Uh, so I guess the only way that I would do that is I'd click on vertices in my front view just select like the top area just here and with the move tool selected just drag it up a little bit but we don't want to make it too long of course so you want to kind of look at look at your reference and try and make it as accurate as possible so that's probably okay it might be a bit too tall but we'll see what it looks like a little later once it's textured so that's that's actually done now um, I'm going to move on to unwrapping now so just like we did on, on the box, uh, to, on the rectangular box, just to create the PC tower, you scroll all the way down on your modifier list to unwrap UVW. Once you've got that kind of selected, um, we need to split this into the different areas because we're not going to sort of unwrap it all together, of course, because you've got different angles on, on this object and kind of like how we did on the uh, PC tower you know you unwrap all the different sides together so I'm going to run through how we're going to unwrap this first thing we're going to do is hit the little plus next to unwrap UVW click on face and then we're going to select the top polygon like that in fact I want to kind of select these areas just inside here um, so what you can do is you can grow the selection there's a little tool just here with the plus and minus if I hit the minus it will deselect it but if I select one poly um, and I hit the plus icon just here if you have a look in this area just here when I hit the plus can you see how it's just added that to, to the selection um, basically what that means is it adds the polys that are touching the edges like the next polys out I guess it adds those to the selection so that's a really really good way of um, selecting those little areas so it saves you from going in and holding control and clicking each one which is kind of tedious so once you have that selected you just scroll down to planar and again you know you need to make sure you're aligning it the right way so align X is wrong because it's cutting through Align Y is wrong because it's cutting through, but align Z is perfect because that box is the same angle as you know the polygon that we want to unwrap. So that's pretty much bang on. So then we deselect planar, scroll up, click on to edit, and you know we're just gonna move this out the way. Again, you know, you can tell that that's pretty damn um, circular, you know, it's not it's not scaled in or it's not squished like that so you just wanna if, if you want to just be doubly sure that your text texture is not going to be distorted you can just click on the checker pattern drop down and click on checker pattern and you know if you if you look on the top that those sort of squares do look pretty perfect yeah don't worry about all this stuff on the side where it's distorted it's because we haven't actually unwrapped that area yet so I'm just going to close this now and I'm going to select the bottom area now I'm going to unwrap that so if I select this polygon there scroll up, hit the plus can you see how it's adding selection each time and I can kind of hit the minus to deselect I'm just going to do that right the way out to the rim like so in fact I'll do one more like that so I've got the whole of the bottom selected and then just follow the same principle that I did earlier for the top click planar and I know it's a line Z so I click a line Z because it's the same for the top it's the same angle then I deselect planar scroll up go to edit and I'm just gonna move this aside as well again you can click checker pattern just in this drop down and you'll be able to see the checker and it's again really really good and not distorted So now for the rest of the object, you know, you know, it's going to be, I wouldn't say a fun task to uh, un unwrap the rest, but you know, it shouldn't 
it shouldn't be too too much hassle to be honest. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to select all the areas that I didn't select earlier. So making sure that I deselect ignore back facing. I'm just going to click and drag over the whole of the side which is this area just here. And I'm just going to unwrap that separately because this is the area that I want to kind of place the, te the texture for the actual um, Red Bull can, you know, like the Red Bull logo, the colors, all that text as well, like the ingredients and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to unwrap that. But of course, this, this time I can't use planar because planar can only be really used for, you know, flat or kind of flat surfaces but this is a completely cylindrical surface so of course uh, the method that you'll use is cylindrical so you click on to cylindrical and you know if I kind of drag this up you'll see how there's a cylindrical kind of gizmo uh, the actual template for the unwrap is turned into a cylinder whereas before it was a plane which was just a single square so cylindrical is the one you want and again just want to run through the aligns that's obviously wrong because it's kind of going sideways align Y is wrong because it's going sideways but the other way and align Z is pretty much bang on so if I just pull that up can you see how that's exactly the same shape that's what you want you want that So once you've done that and it looks okay, you just deselect cylindrical uh, like you did before for planar, then click on to edit, and then you can kind of just move this area down, and again ensure that your checkers are correct, so you click on to check a pattern. So currently they look a little stretched to me, so you can just kind of pull this out a little bit and they'll come together a lot better. So that looks quite good to me. Yeah, it's better. Um, so once that's kind of done, you need to do this top area just here. So you've got all the, all this stuff left to actually unwrap. So the bottom's done, the sides done, the top's done. But just this kind of sil silver rim, which would be there, uh, like this silver kind of rim. That's an area which you need to unwrap. In fact, if I look on my reference image, uh, I, I can see that it does ha actually have a blue color. You know, the, the actual print for the Red Bull can goes up into this kind of curve. Uh, and if you see mine, see what this line is, that's where I stopped selecting it. So I'm actually going to amend that really quickly. Um, so it won't take me long. You just kind of select it. But this time, including this sort of top area just here. And cylindrical. Align Z was the right one. Deselect cylindrical. Click on edit and that's it sorted. Again just make sure that your checker is looking okay. That's fine. And you see now we've kind of got this addition of these this kind of thin bar across the top. That's basically this area just here. Anyway, once you've done that, you need to work on this sort of top rim area. So the first thing you do is, in the side view, just select it all. But this is where you kind of want to be careful because you don't want to select, you know, the area that you unwrapped e earlier. So you want to deselect the top, and the way you de deselect is by holding Alt and clicking the left mouse button. So that's how you do that. I'm just going to go in my top view. And I'm just going to kind of deselect these areas here that I had selected earlier. So once that's done, uh, that's pretty much ready to go because you know it's completely selected, just that area that's left. So I'm going to go back onto cylindrical. 
we press Z, align Z again, deselect cylindrical, go up to edit, and you know that's the last sort of piece. There's nothing left now, that's unwrapped. The only thing I would suggest again is just checking, uh, making sure it's not stretched, and that is really stretched. And the reason is, you know, like I've mentioned uh, before, whenever you unwrap something, it always fits it within this texture space like that box so even if you know that this is this is really thin this is like you know this this rim just here is really thin in height but for you know because it stretches it into this area so what you need to do is kind of just squish that right the way down until it looks pretty much the same as that so if you just want to scale this up you can, you'll be better able to see the actual checker by, by making it bigger so that's okay you could probably do a little better there by squishing that down that's pretty much perfect <laughs> I can actually scale that down now because all I'm going to give that area is a plain kind of silver silver color so I'm not going to worry too much about the size of that um, so once you've kind of done that, we can just select that area there, pop that in the box, again holding control when I'm scaling. An important factor again is that I know that I'm going to give the most amount of texture space to uh, you know the sides of the can and the top um, because you know they're the areas that you'll be able to see. And if you find that this grid in the background, this checker is annoying you, you can just go to view and deselect show map. So then we can just see our um, layout. So I'm going to kind of pull this into the corner a little bit. I'm going to select this top sort of rim here and I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees. And then pull it down like so. Then all I have to do is fit these in. So this is the, the top one. So I'm just going to kind of scale this down. Just fit that in. Again, be careful that you don't kind of overlap this dark blue line because then it will crop that text texture space and it will be something like that. You know, you won't be able to see the outside edges. So make sure that you place it inside with a bit of space around the edges. Yeah, so you've got a little bit of a space there, a little space there. And the same with the side of the can. I've left a little gap. And then here again, I'm just going to scale the bottom of the can down this this time. And there we have it. You know, that's your Red Bull can, uh, completely unwrapped. <coughs> Uh, and I guess the next tutorial, which will be a lot shorter, um, will be kind of just adding the texture in Photoshop and then bringing it back into here and doing a really quick render of our Red Bull can. So stay tuned and um, make sure you follow on from this video with part three um, of creating the Red Bull can.